standing here near the uh, the main roundabout in Mallow, just off the main roundabout, off the Killarney Road here. It's uh, 6th of January, Ihanulagaman, and uh, we just came across a um, holly tree that had been cut down in the last few weeks to for holly for the uh, for the home. But unfortunately, whoever has come along and done this, what they've actually done is they've cut the whole tree off. Rather than taking a few branches, which would be probably beneficial to the tree by way of pruning it, they've cut the whole tree off at the trunk, as you can see there. And the whole, what we have around here is the tree, basically decimated or vandalised, uh, mindless, mindless vandalism by someone who should know better, uh, ignorant vandalism. And uh, the holly tree, um, very important tree in lots of ways, the holly tree is the Irish Christmas tree, has huge connections and huge roots in the Irish uh, mythology and spirituality. And someone, local person here in Mallow, has come along and pretty much destroyed the tree and destroyed it for everybody else. For the sake of short-term commercial gain. For, for the sake of short-term commercial gain. This tree now probably will probably die of shock, I would say. Probably won't recover. And certainly, even if it does, will be absolutely useless to anybody for the next couple of years. Yeah. So apart from the vandalism to the tree, yeah. this uh, ignorant person who's ever come along here uh, has, has destroyed this resource for everybody else, which is very, very, very typical. And for the wildlife job. And for the wildlife, more importantly, absolutely. Yeah. Because uh, there's, there's a huge shortage of holly for all sorts of reasons, but partly because of the sort of attitude yeah. that's been expressed against this, yeah. this well, tree. When, when I was walking down here this morning and I saw this, I was absolutely shocked. I was yeah. disgusted and shocked at, at this. I mean, yeah. we've seen mindless vandalism in, in the urban environments in Ireland, but this is way far worse than putting graffiti on a wall. This is destroying uh, a tree that's probably 30 to 40 years of age. Yeah. Very slow growing tree. Uh, just, just have a different, slightly different view of the tree here, which gives you an idea of how, uh, how tall it was. And this person who came along and did this, all they, all they had to do, they could have got this all the holiday they wanted by just trimming off the side branches, a few of them if they wanted to. But as you can, just to with the berries on it, child. That's what the they're after. The berries. They were after the berry. Yeah, quite clearly they were after the berries, and they were obviously high up on the tree. But they could have been. They could have been a, a, a much much simpler way of getting those. Um, and a person doesn't necessarily have the right to come along. It's a very rare rare enough species, the holly tree, even though as important as it is. But you know, as I say, now that's that holly tree is uh, is probably ruined, and it's certain, even if it isn't, it's it's totally out of commission for anyone to take holly from it or for for wildlife for at least. 10 years. They've cut the tree off there at the at the at the yeah. uh, the trunk. There's the tree trunk there. Yeah. yeah. They've cut it off, which is totally unnecessary to get to get yeah. the few bits and pieces they were yeah. getting. I, I really don't understand. And all they've done is cut off a few side branches and left everything else. This is the tree itself. Yeah. Here it is. Cut the whole tree down for a couple of berries. There it is.